Hey everybody, Paul here again. Uh, today I'm going to be starting a build on a 5,000 watt generator powered with four 100 amp batteries. Uh, they're going to be uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, I purchased these batteries through Battery Hookup uh, and I'll be putting them together. Uh, I have two different styles. Two are going to be going into battery cases and two are not. They'll be uh, wrapped in shrink wrap. Uh, I just, the battery cases are really hard to find in the United States. So I just uh, did not, you end up paying 50 to 75, 100 bucks for each case and they're not worth that price. This is a case I'm gonna be using. It's a cobalt case from Lowe's. Uh, it's approximately three feet long, and the inside is 33 inches by 18 and a half inches wide. Uh, it will it will house two regular size, like car battery style batteries sitting on the back side here, and then on the front side will be two battery packs that I will build. Here is a list of some of the tools that I'll be using for this build. We'll start out with the Gandel 3000 watt 6000 surge pure sine wave inverter. It's got four outlets on the front of it. Then we have miscellaneous fuses that will be incorporated into it. A 12 volt fuse block, 200 amp uh, fuses, and I have other fuses too that I'll be putting in there. A drock monitor, a main power switch, bus bars, two 120 millimeter fans, and then I have some fan covers. They're screen fan covers to cover that. Then I'll have a 15 amp two, two position uh, outlet with two USBs. Then I have this with a 12 volt cigarette lighter, voltage, and two USB ports. Then I have this to plug. It'll have an internal charger that goes inside that you could charge from your house. And this is where you charge the extension cord. It'll have a 30 amp outlet to uh, plug your, a 30 amp outlet to plug your house into that'll, that I'll hook it up to a, uh, fuse panel in my house. It's going to have two fixed lights on the front of it and then on the top of it it will have two LED lights that are position you can change the position they'll be rotary and then it'll have uh, two GFCI outlets on the front and then there will be other miscellaneous components. This is a build of the first battery. As you can see, I have drawn a line for the connection. This is a main positive. It'll come down here. These two will connect. Come up here. These two will connect. Then come down here, and these two will connect. Then you'll have, end up with a main negative and a main positive. So now we'll connect them. Now with those connected, none of these are tight. You want to check the voltage. And there we have 12.87 volts. So now what we'll do is put the BMS wires on. Then you connect the final positive to the positive on this one. Now you want to check the BMS wires. Take the negative, put it into the negative here. Go to the first positive connection. 3.2, 6.46, 9.66, and 12.87. So everything is connected correctly. Now we're going to put Kapton tape around it to uh, hold all these batteries together. Now you have one big battery pack. I like to tape up my terminals also just to make sure that nothing ever happens to them. And there they're all taped up. Now what we're going to do is turn the battery on its side and fold these over this way and place the battery box over it so that everything fits down inside and turn it on its side take these two and there you have it 
The next thing we want to do is connect the leads to the uh, BMS. This is a 100 amp BMS, DALI BMS for LIFEPO 4 batteries. Once you get those leads, you want to tape the BMS down. And now, before we connect uh, the leads to the lid, now we want to connect the BMS. And now connect or check the voltage. 12.87, that's correct. So now we can hook the uh, lid to it. And there's our first battery build. Now we do also want to check to make sure we do have still, still have voltage. So we'll check positive and negative. And there we have it, 12.87. Okay, this is the next battery pack I'll be making. Uh, it is made with a battery hookup 32650 battery, and uh, it's 5,000 milliamps each battery. I have a total of 80 batteries, 40 or 20, 20, 20, and 20. That's four series and 20 parallel. That will give me a total of 100 amps. And I'm going to have two of these. They're the same size, same battery packs basically, just uh, made up a little bit different than the ones that I put in the case. Like I said, the cases are very expensive. And besides uh, four of these batteries, I'm going to have a total of four of these 100 amp batteries. And four of those batteries will not fit in the case that I am going to be using to make the generator. I'm going to be using nickel strip and a spot welder. The spot welder is a K weld. It's hooked up to my bench top charger. I have it set on nine and a half watt or volts rather. It's got its own uh, K caps is what they're called. They're uh, basically uh, big capacitors and I'll be setting the uh, I'll be setting the K-Weld on about 70 joules. And I'm gonna be starting the spot welding. Okay, now we have the positive here, then it'll go th flow through down through the back side of this to the negative, then up over to the positive, then up, then across, then down, then up, and this will be the final negative. Okay, then what you want to do is go through and make sure that you hit every top, uh, battery uh, post. At this point, what you want to do is flip the battery over. Now you want to take your next strip. Since this is the positive on the bottom side, you want to take the next strip and it's going to be go from the negative to the positive. So you want to touch it and just make sure it's not going to spark. And then what I like to do is just tack it down a little bit. And then start spot welding. Okay, now it's time to add the last strip on. You want to touch it to make sure it's not going to spark or anything that it's connected correctly. And there we have it. It's all spot welded. Okay, the next thing I did is I took some uh, nickel strip and cut it up to what I'm going to do is place it here on the end to put my negative and my positive on that side. And what I've done is I've stripped the center of these so that this can go like that in there and you, it'll uh, I'll be able to solder into it. Uh, and then I cut this lead and I'm going to solder it right now. Now I'm going to start soldering these on. Now we'll do the positive wire. Okay, now it's time to spot weld the B- minus and the positive over on this side. Okay, I've connected the negative over here. So that we have the positive down here and the negative over here. I taped the BMS and now I'm going to put all the leads onto the BMS or onto the battery. Starting with the black lead. I've already got spots soldered. Okay. 
<laughs> Last thing we want to do before we put shrink wrap on is uh, test the voltage of the entire pack. Make sure everything's connected correctly. And we have 13.6 or 06. Now what we want to do is cut a piece of shrink wrap. We want to have it hanging over a couple inches. Okay, that's a nice neat pack. Next thing I like to do is mark the pack what it is. Okay, it looks like I just have one more of these packs to make and then I'll be set to do uh, start the rest of the build. Uh, this concludes part one of my multi-part series on building a 5,000 watt generator. If you like this video and want to see the rest of the build, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to uh, get notifications when I put out the next video. Thanks for watching.